Welcome to Reread, where I'm rereading through the expanded universe in chronological order, and we are on the Jedi Quest series, uh, book number two, The Trail of the Jedi. It's funny because when I first picked this up to reread it, I thought it was The Trial of the Jedi, and I was like, okay, there's a trial. And as I kept reading through it, I was like, Man, when's the trial begin? <laughs> and as I realized, the book is about Obi-Wan and Anakin going back to Ragoon 6, which is where Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan start off in one of their books just as a practice training exercise for Jedi. He want, Since it connected him and uh, Qui-Gon a lot, Obi-Wan wants to do it for Anakin. So this other Jedi, he gets a few hours start or something, or half a day start, and then the Jedi have to track him. You know, it's a tracking exercise that can work together. And so they're following the trail of the Jedi. As I'd look back at the cover, I went, oh, trail, not trial. Whoops. Uh, read it too fast there. Uh, but this one was one where they were trying to find him. And every time they look for clues, it looks like that he leads them into dangerous spots where there are these dangerous animals that he and Qui-Gon had to fight off in an earlier novel uh, in the Jedi Apprentice series. And then there's one where he leads them to this beautiful cave. Oh, he wanted to see this beautiful cave here. Oh no, it's flooding. We got to get out. We're trapped. And they barely make it out. And the whole time they're thinking, did we miss a clue? Or did he just not know that it floods? And why is he trying to kill us? And everyone's like, no, he's not. But that's kind of weird. Maybe he didn't even go through the cave. And they're kind of wondering, Man, he has led us onto some dangerous stuff that could hurt us or kill us even. And uh, it turns out that no, he'd been captured. That was someone else. There's a, it's a planet full of bounty hunters sent by the new mysterious bad guy, Granta Omega, who is kind of going to be the overarching villain in the storyline. But anyway, Omega has sent all these bounty hunters after uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan, and they're having to fend for themselves. Now, the first at first, they don't know this. They run into a little girl who says, or younger girl, I should say, who says she, she, or she was with a group of students and they're all gone and she thinks the bounty hunters are chasing after her. But it turns out that she and her younger brother, we find out later, are bounty hunters. And they're not very good at their job. <laughs> In fact, when they say, how do we become bounty hunters? Well, we found out the guy who we were working for, who was really mean, had a bounty on him, so we turned him in, or we convinced him, we, we tricked him into turning himself in, and we became bounty hunters. And you're like, oh, that is dumb. And, and they suck at everything. They, they try to outwit Obi-Wan and Kenobi. Even after getting busted, they try to outwit him again and get busted again. Like, whoops. Oh, well. All right, we'll go back to helping the Jedi. And you're thinking, man, you guys are pathetic. Well, yeah, even Granta Omega knows they're pathetic. <laughs> I guess he just gave them a job so the other bounty hunters would, like, kill them off or something. Because they're not very good. And they are just kids. They're around Anakin's age or maybe a little bit older. Either way, uh, at the end, the kids go off, get, a ret get turned into the authorities at Coruscant to be reinstituted into society, whatever, go to a boarding school or something. But Obi-Wan tells Anakin they probably won't, you know, they'll probably weasel their way out of it and get out again. Who knows? Uh, I should also mention that once they, and Granta Omega is the master of disguise. They actually see, and you, I knew because I'd read it before. But there's a bounty hunter who's basically just lying there. The last bounty hunter they were looking for, they couldn't find him. And he says, oh, well, I got shot by a, um, something that um, uh, stunned me. It stunned his legs, and he couldn't move. And so, like, but you got the bounty. Good for you. See you later. And you're thinking, ah, that's Granta Omega. I remembered that. And then later on, they find out, oh, no, Master of Disguise, Granta Omega was right there the whole time. You know, but why did he put out the hit against the Jedi? We don't know, but Obi-Wan did find a Sith holocron. Oh, my goodness. You know, on Granta's ship. So he's like, oh, no. And immediately they rule out, they rule out that he's a Sith. Immediately. And I don't... Obviously, Jude Watson was told, don't even hint that it's a Sith. Don't even hint that you have a Sith in there. There are no other Sith out there besides, you know, P P Sidious and... Well, now it would be Dooku. But they could have, it was like, instantly he's like, uh, Anakin goes, oh, you think he's a Sith? No, he's not a Sith. If he was a Sith, we would have felt it. Well, the Sith have been among you the whole time. You didn't know for years. So it looks like they can cloak themselves really good, Obi-Wan. Um, so I'm kind of surprised. I mean, they could have dropped, uh, later on you're going to see that he's not a Sith, you know. But to have that mystery of whether he's a Sith or not, I don't think that would have uh, hurt the storyline any. I think that would have been nice. I mean, I remembered he wasn't a Sith, but they automatically rule out that he can't be a Sith. He must be part of a Sith cult, which is exactly what he is. I mean, we're going to find out that later on in the books. But I was like, why go ahead and just establish that right now? 
I don't understand. Why not just reveal that for another book later on? Anyway, it's kind of weird. And I correct myself. Even though D.D. and Astry will be in future issues, it is said that D.D. in this book, D.D. had sold the diner now to Dexter, and Dexter owns it, and he's owned it for a while now, a little while now at least, because he's he's friendly with Obi Wan. Obi Wan Kenobi's like, oh, you're still coming in to visit me, you know. So they're kind of new friends, and he asked Dexter about you know Omega what he knows about him, and he's like, hmm, I have to think my people, you know, look at my, you know, look, dig into a little bit more about him. Not much is known about him or whatnot. And so Dexter Jexter does own the diner here. So previously when I said Outbound Flight had a contradiction, I stand corrected. Hey, give me a break. I hadn't read it till after I did that review. All right, folks, see you next time.